Haunted Wolf 12 here, and um, today we have a different kind of video than what I normally do. Today we're going to be unboxing two NECA horror figures. The Blood Tears edition of the Toonie Tears Michael Myers, and the um, Deluxe Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, we'll probably start with the Toonie Tears, but... Uh, I'll explain how I got these. So anyway, um, I went to a uh, state speech tournament because my team qualified for speech. So uh, we went to a bigger area and they had a target and we could go get souvenirs. And I went back there and I saw they had the NECA figures back there. Um, I was going to get the deluxe uh, Michael Myers, but... They were sold out, so I got Leatherface instead, and I got the Toonie Tears version of Michael. But, um, I guess I will show you the Leatherface before I take him out of his box. Here he is in the window. Very nice. I'm very happy to have him. I'm happy to start collecting NECA figures. And, um, so, we'll start with Michael Myers. And there we go, it worked. Just gotta be careful. And here we go. I'll set the card off to the side after I show you the card a little bit. But so, yeah. Here's a look at what the inside of the card looks like without Michael in it. So you can see it's supposed to be like a theater. And you can see the Halloween 1 pumpkin over there on the ground. And on the back, you have a cutout backdrop display you can use, if you want to, of the hospital from Halloween 2. Um, since I want to keep this uh, card and the packaging in good shape, I'm not going to cut it out, but if you want to do that, you certainly can. So anyway, I'll set that aside, and we'll take a look at the figure now. As you can see, here's the little packaging thing that came at the bottom. It says Michael Myers, and on the bottom you can see it says NECA and Real Toys. And all the copyright and warnings and barcode and stuff and the Toonie Tears logo. So, yeah, I'll set that off to the side, too. And here is the figure itself. Um, we'll start with the accessories. I can get it out. Here is the pumpkin. This is the one. This is supposed to be the one from the intro in Halloween 2 when it splits open and reveals its skull. Um... But it looks more like the skull on the movie poster, but either way, I still really like this. It's really cool that they included this, and it's it's an iconic intro. One of the best intros to a horror movie ever, in my opinion. So it's pretty cool that they included that. And over here, we have Michael Myers' signature knife. And okay, it's taped in. Let me cut that tape real quick. Or now I can just peel it. Never mind. Okay. It'll come out with tape, probably. Yep. Okay, here we go. Here is the knife. And since this is the Blood Tears edition, it has blood on the knife. I really like that. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. It's kind of hard. But it's... I can't... Every time I try to get it close, it doesn't focus very well. But here is the knife. It is... I like it a lot. It looks pretty good. Um... And now we'll get to Michael himself. Okay. Oh, well, here we go. Okay. He has a little thing there. Okay. Here we go. And already I love him. He is very cool. I love anything Michael Myers, so... I mean, it's not too shocking. But he is very cool. I like the sculpted detail. It's, it's really cool. He's obviously stiff because he's brand new, but I'll show you all the points of articulation. So, he this arm right here moves up and down. This arm moves up and down. The wrist rotates. And the legs move. I don't think the feet move, do they? No, they don't. And, but then the head also, you can move it around a little bit. I think you can, yeah, you can turn it around all the way, but yeah, you can... Up and down a little bit. Mm, not much side to side. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, you can do it a little bit. Not too much, but you can. But, yeah. Anyway, let's stick his signature knife into his hand. And 
we'll see them like that. It's a little stiff to get in at first, but got it in. And here we go. Here's good old Michael. I really like this figure a lot. Uh, very good deal for uh, $13, I think that's what it was. But I really, really like this figure, and I'm happy to finally have a Michael Myers figure in my horror collection. Um, let's set Michael off to the side, and we will now get to Leatherface. Just one of those little sticker things up top here, so we'll just gently cut along the seam to open it. As such. I think that's good. Now we can just lift up the tab. Michael's rocking. I might have to move him. I don't want him to fall over. Um, there we go. Sorry if it lagged. I don't know why it did, but it looks like it lagged on my, on my screen, but I don't know if it did or not. But anyway, here we go. Here is Leatherface himself. That is awesome. Amazing detail. I love the NECA Ultimate Series for horror a lot. He has lots of accessories, too. He has the grandma mask that he wears for the dinner scene at the end of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, the apron is like a faux leather material. The tie is like a rubber, I think. But, yeah, a very good detail. Extremely detailed. And here he is. Wow. Absolutely amazing detail. He has, I think that's, let me see that. Is that, I think it's teeth. It's supposed to be teeth. It's a teeth tooth bracelet. And, yeah, it's uh, casted in gold plastic. And here is his face, if I can get the camera to focus. Extreme, extreme tension to detail. It's amazing. And let me get it to focus again. I think the mask and the head is actually a different piece that was glued together, so it makes it even more realistic. I, I, I love this so much. It's, it's so good. And actually, it's tied in the back like a real apron. Uh, you can see the dirt spots, all the detail for that. He is wearing cowboy boots on the bottom, as you can see. Get that to focus. There you go. And he's the blood splatters all over his apron. Um, he has lots of articulation. I think it said 25 points. He has wrist motion in both hands. A little stiff, obviously, because I just took him out. He has swivel at the elbows, bend at the elbows. It's going to be, yeah, stiff. Um, up and down on the arms. I think it, yeah, it goes out like that. Uh, 360 head turn. Head up, I think. Not really. Head to the side a little bit. Um, leg movement. At the knees. At the shoes. At the hip. I think he swivels. Yeah, he does. Um, but, yes, this is awesome. Uh, 30 is a lot of money to pay for an action figure, but I really think it's worth it. He is absolutely amazing. NECA did an incredible job with him, and I really want to get more NECA figures. Um, also, if you, if you haven't uh, been able to tell, I probably do sound different, and that's because I've had the flu and a sinus infection, so... My voice may sound weird, weirder than normal, but here's his most iconic accessory from all the movies, the chainsaw, because, yeah, it's obviously in the title of the series of movies, but, yes, once again, extreme attention to detail. I love the uh, blood splattering all over. Um, the, it's insanely detailed for how small this is. It's amazing. Yeah, let's put it in his hands and display him like that while I get the other accessories out. Anyway, here's the alternate head sculpt, the grandma mask head sculpt. Once again, awesome detail all around, even the inside of the head. It is incredible. I love it a lot. 
I still prefer the original head mold with the original mask, but this is still pretty cool and I'm glad they included it. Then we have the rest of his weapons. We take the lid off. There we go. We have um, the blacksmith hammer or uh, mallet, whatever you want to call it. I wish there was blood on the rest of these, but there's not. But that's okay. It's still very cool that they included these. So, yeah, here's the mallet. Here is the cleaver. Also very cool. I like the me metallic detailing. Um, we have the knife. I think it's just a chef's knife. I don't know. Whatever, it's just a knife. Once again, very good detail. And finally for accessories, we have the meat cleaver. Also very cool. I like uh, the blood on it too. Once again, very nice detail. Here is Michael and Leatherface together. As you can see, there's obviously a height difference, but nonetheless, I still love both these figures a lot, and I'm so happy to have NECA uh, figures in my collection now. Um, I highly rec recommend that you go and get them if you want to. They're at Target. Leatherface is $30. This is... Michael is 13 I think. But um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.